Hey everybody, today I just wanted to go over how to create the different sequence sizes in Premiere Pro so that you can quickly resize your videos no matter how you shot them, whether you've shot them in horizontal. And now you wanna repurpose them over to a vertical size and use them in square for like Instagram or wherever. Um, so I'm just gonna go into a screen share and show you all this and hopefully you find this helpful. And if you do, let me know below. Hi, my name is Katie and I'm a video marketing strategist who loves helping business owners and entrepreneurs leverage the power of video in their online content strategy. So I guess you could kind of call me a videographer and an editor with a splash of marketing. Okay, so the only thing I've done here is bring in a clip of a runner. You can see it here really quick. It's just, she goes across the screen. So I'm gonna show you how to keep her in the center or on the screen with the, um, auto reframe feature that they have. See at the end here, she kind of goes off the screen. So when you adjust that, she'll go out of the frame. So first let's start with resizing the sequences. So here you're gonna to go to new item and you're gonna come all the way to the top to the sequence. Now, when you pick your sequence, I would pick under a digital SLR, 1080p, and then you're gonna figure out what your frame rate is on your clip. And this one is 23.976. So I'm gonna pick the 1080p at 24 frames. So we're gonna go ahead and name this one. And this one will start with vertical. And we'll come over to the top here at settings. And then the time base is still the same frame rate. So make sure that's the same frame rate. And here at the frame size is where you will swap the dimensions to make it a vertical. And then you'll just hit okay. If you want to create a custom sequence so that you don't have to come back here and do this every single time, you just can come here and save the preset and then you can name it. And then when I'll show you in a second where it shows up, but I'm not gonna do it because I already have some. So we'll just hit okay. And we will have the sequence in our uh, working area here. So here you have it vertical. Now you can see that the video clip is a horizontal clip. So when I drag the clip over to my sequence now, it's gonna ask me, do I want to change the settings to match it? And if I click change settings, it'll change the vertical back to the horizontal and it won't be the same. So you want to keep existing settings so that it stays vertical. And now if you watch her towards the end, see right there, she goes out of frame. At the end, you'll lose her right about here. She's gone. So in order to keep her in the frame and we will do the auto reframe here to effects, we'll click on that and then we'll type in auto reframe and it comes here. It's under video effects, transform, auto reframe. It's easier just to search, but that's where you'll find it. And then you'll just drag it over here onto your clip. And then Premiere does its magic. It's analyzing it all and it will do its magic and see it brought her back to the middle. So watch now, we watch the clip. She does not ever leave the edge and she pretty much stays in the middle throughout the whole clip, which is super awesome and makes it so easy for repurposing. So if you want to go ahead and do it all over again, you just go here, new item, sequence. And again, I'll show you when you have the customs, if you saved that preset, this is where the customs would show up. See, I already have mine here. So since I just showed you how, I'll just pull up the square one and then we'll pull over the clip again into the square, keep the existing settings. And there she is again. Now, in order to keep her centered and in frame again, since we don't kind of, we don't want her there, that's not good. So we want to keep her in the frame. We'll come over here back to the effects. And since I've already searched it, it's already going to show up. We'll pull this onto the clip. It's analyzing and there it is. Now she's going to stay in the frame at all times. And you just made a vertical here of her and a square here. So that's how simple it is to resize and repurpose content for social media. And in five minutes, less than five minutes, we have totally repurposed one piece into two clips and it can go over multiple platforms. So if this was helpful for you guys, let me know in the comments below and give me a thumbs up.